Spare tires can certainly be necessary, but we're learning that 30% of cars made don't actually have a spare tire. The reason? Lighter cars, better fuel economy. But ABC Action News reporter Sean Daly wonders what happens when you get a flat. Hyundai and Honda, Chevrolet, even Cadillac. A lot of the bigs are skipping the spare. It's a scary thought if you get stranded, but you do have options. If your car is not equipped with a spare tire, there's really not a place to put one. Tony Bamonte, owner of AD Automotive in Tampa, is not entirely sold on car makers getting rid of spare tires. Buying an extra can be expensive, hard to store, and smaller donut spares can harm your car. Someday, most cars will have these run flat tires. They eliminate changing a flat altogether. Right now, they're about 160 bucks a pop. You can go usually up to about 50 miles without having to put air in it. You can get a can of fix a flat for under 10 bucks, but the results can be messy. Battery operated inflators and compressors are in the $40 range. Tony works with all kinds of drivers, from hot rodders to folks in the Wheels of Success program who need a little help. But ultimately, he gives the same advice to everybody. The cheapest, safest way to handle a flat roadside assistance insurance. For $65 a year, it's definitely something that will come in handy. Uh, you don't want to change your tire on the side of the road. If you're like me, you need a little help when it comes to cars. So I put a ton of good information about flat tires and spare tires on ABCActionNews.com. Guys, back to you.